and today's topic is diffusion pump it is made by gade in 1913 he used mercury pump as a pump fluid in 1916 lagmer modified it to increase the condensation of mercury thus increases the pumping speed the limitation of mercury vapor pumps are it needs the refrigerated taps to keep unwanted mercury vapor out of the tube in 1928 Birch used oil separated petroleum in the diffusion pump. In 1929, Hickman used low vapor pressure synthetic organic esters. In 1937, Malta designed multi stage oil diffusion pump, which is in use now. This is the figure of a diffusion pump. Look at the figure. You can see a boiler, a diffusion pump oil, which is placed in a boiler. And the bottom part is closed with the electric heat. And when the heat occurs, the vapor, vapors produced will be moving upward direction through these annular jets. And this portion is known as chimney. And this is the baffle valve. And the water cooling coils are placed here to make the vapors condense. And the outlet valve is passing through this. This is the overall figure of a diffusion pump. It consists of a cylindrical body filled with a flanked inlet for the attachment to the system to be evacuated. A boiler which is fitted with a heater is placed at the bottom. Upper two-thirds of the pump is surrounded by cooling coils. An outlet deck or fall line is provided at the lower side for discharging the pump gases and vapors to the mechanic pump. And the pump fluid or working fluid is taken at the bottom of the fluid. The common pump fluids are DC sensor of 4 and sensor of 5. And also phenyl siloxane compounds are using. Phenyl ethers, Neovac SY, Sandovac 5 and phenyl, polyphenyl ethers are also used. A jet forming structure is seen within the pump body. This consists of a concentric cylinder cylinder partially capped and fit with a flared umbrella shaped jets through which the pump fluid can emerge at supersonic speeds and this is chimney and is represented in the figure as C. There are no moving mechanical parts in the diffusion pumps. The chamber to be evacuated and the diffusion pump are separated by a baffle valve. The chamber and the diffusion pump can be roughed by closing the appropriate valve to the four pump. After the initial pumping of 10 raised to minus 1 torr on the both sides, the valve connecting to four pump is closed and the baffle valve is opened simultaneously. Now the diffusion pump is ready for operation. It's operation. The working fluid in the boiler is heated by an electric heating coil which is clamped to the lower body. Thus, a vapor stream is created. This vapor stream rises in the jet forming structure and is emitted at superspawning speeds through the annular nozzle in a downward and outward direction against the water cooled wall of pump. The gas molecules at the pump inlet are entrained in the stream of working fluid vapor with downward momentum. The gas mixture travels downward towards floor line and passes through water cooled pump walls. The vapor get condensed and returned to the boiler in the liquid form. The entrained gas molecules continue their flow towards the exit and are removed by the mechanical pump. The condensed oil vapors return to the boiler, re-evaporates and maintains the vapor flow. Then the multi-stage pumps. The first stage at the inlet has high pumping speed and the low compression ratio. And at the last stage, the low pumping speed and high compression ratio. The commonly used small pump is three-stage pump and the large ones are five or six stage. This figure shows the variation of pumping speed of diffusion pump as a function of pressure. When the pressure increases, pumping speed decreases after a particular limit. This is the pressure range. It is about 
10 is to minus 1 to 10 is to minus 10 torr. Without cryogenic pumping and baking, it can achieve the lowest pressure of 10 is to minus 8 torr. Using the cryogenic pumping and liquid nitrogen cold traps, the inlet pressure can be 10 is to minus 10 torr. To extend the pressure range, the baking and cooling of pump chambers, inlet decks and baffle valves are required in the diffusion pump. Thank you.